there's a there's an argument to be made that so much of human motivation is all about trying to be impressive to the opposite sex. Yes, ultimately, from an evolutionary standpoint, I agree. But from the viewpoint of a human being, then definitely not. Like, sex all day would just get boring. But there's the rest of the time, so much of what we do is trying to get a partner impressed with us, is to get a partner to see us as a valuable mate. Kind of like right now, we're talking about sex bots and whether they might result in the downfall of humanity. What, you know, it, it depends on how much you believe that human motivations for progress come from trying to impress the opposite sex. Because we have to make more humans. We have to reproduce. That's why we exist in the DNA configuration we exist in is so that we right. can p move our genes Things forward. that have helped us to survive have been favorable traits. And right. Those are what people look for. Right. And to some extent, I wonder, like, how much of that is lingering and no longer relevant? How much can a man fight off a saber-toothed tiger, <laughs> you know, to protect his, yeah. his wife and kids from the saber-toothed tiger? And he had to be like this rippling, muscly, hairy <laughs> mass with giant fists and he could just grab the tiger by the tusk and like slam it against a boulder and like now my wife and child are safe and my genes shall continue right uh and then uh and then you know the woman meanwhile had to have like enormous breasts to like breastfeed like three children at once and i don't know whatever it is that people that needed. hand motion you just made it was very Sorry. frightening hmm. you're trying to be this kind of person that other people are impressed by or you know there's that social pressure to be whatever be beyond what you would just be by your personal motivations. What made me think of this to some extent was there was a recent SLA, uh, Sex, Lies, and Anarchy, by the way, for those of you who are wondering what SLA means. So, you yeah. talked about the men going their own way movement, and these are guys who have kind of written off dating in any kind of significant degree. They, some of them might have sex, some of them don't have written off sex as well, but they're just like, I'm just going to live my life for me and shrug off these social pressures to be a traditional man, mm -hmm. which is like, oh, go out and be the provider, go get married, have kids, all these expectations on guys to live a very certain lifestyle. Breaking away from a traditional expectation yeah. of your lifestyle. Because it's a great expression. And gender roles, also gender roles, right? Uh, I don't know if all the MGTOW, the MGTOWs are very much happy that they're, and that's MGTO. M G T O W. That's the acronym is M G T O W. So or most of them, I think, are very happy with their masculinity. However, yeah, they just want to be independent. It's actually a really great expression of uh, self ownership, I'd say. I, I, sometimes I felt like Antigone kind of missed what they're really all about. Is that it's sort of acknowledging that, it, that lately that stuff doesn't pay off a lot of times because of the state's involvement and courts and child custody issues and alimony, and so they've written it off for those reasons. If not for that, they might they might not otherwise do that. So, yes, that's a good. Point. And she's like calling them. Oh, they're just shallow and me and not interested in meaningful relationships. Well, they're they're, they're hurt by the weird constructs of the society. But yeah, that makes me wonder. But here's the thing: fault. a lot of them have said, like, uh, you know, now that I don't have now that I've decided to reject these social pressures I'm not all that interested in getting a, a power job and making a lot of money and trying to I'm not out to impress people I want to make enough money to do the things I enjoy doing I want to play video games and I want to hang out with my friends and go see sports and I want to be like happy that. yeah I want to be happy yeah. and that doesn't necessarily mean busting my ass in the rat race yeah right right 